Go ahead. Hi. I'm Ryan. I brought you a cover letter and I'm this one. I'm sure you have one already. Um, so I guess, how was your day so far? It's pretty good. Excited for this interview. <laughs> um, so, I guess before we get started, um, First, I'm just going to ask you some general questions about your background and then go into some more hypothetical questions. Sounds good. Um, so, could you tell me about your education and experience that would relate to this position? Yeah, so um, I went to high school at Iolani, uh, which is in Hawaii. And Hawaii is, like a, in a lot of ways, a large melting pot. <clears throat> so, I get to meet a lot of people familiar with a lot of people, and as a result, uh, we stem that on into building a company around uh, the community. And so, <clears throat> my uh, experience with uh, my own business is up further um, social media skills, and it's an ongoing thing, so we're actually working on that right now. Um, currently, I'm going to the University of Portland, studying mechanical engineering, and dabbling into uh, communications. So again, <clears throat> they complement each other. Uh, there's a lot of uh, interdisciplinary study, so I get to work with a lot of people. Um, and the company that you that you brought up is, um, as it was like Pupu mm -hmm. and what, um, I guess, is it like a product line, or what kind of company? Yeah, so that's the common confusion point, but we brand ourselves as both a service and a product. So what, it, what that means is just that um, we back up uh, a lifestyle that we try to convey through means of product as well as through doing stuff with the community. <coughs> so um, as a result, in order to brand such a complex image, we had to, uh, we definitely had to utilize all our social media tools to uh, really convey an image that's kind of abstract a positive lifestyle. So that's where we stand today. And what do you mean by a service to um, We involve ourselves with uh, organizations and nonprofits that uh, really epitomize the positive lifestyle, um, helping others and how we're all connected. For example, we did like a soup kitchen, uh, beach cleanup, we did uh, rehabilitative help. We don't even take food back and that kind of thing. Okay, um, so now that we've heard a little bit about your background experience mm -hmm. with those works, um, we are doing a product promotion of our new hair color. Mm -hmm. And could you conduct a sale pitch to me now um, on how you would promote this product to a potential customer who is unfamiliar with our company? Um, we have the description of our hair color, if you want to look at that first. If I understand correctly, this is um, it's going to be a, a hair product that um, I mean, it says here simple and elegant. Um, I guess I guess my question is like the the 
pitch of this is that it's simple and elegant. That's, that's from where you guys are coming from. Um, <coughs> yeah, I guess we were just trying to go with um, the different approach to hair color, because usually like a, a wash off hair color is either like a spray or a gel, right. or okay. like that new chalk type thing. So we want to do it, it wouldn't be, um, it would be more like a high quality end of hair color. Okay. Um, so you're asking for a pot pitch. Hmm. Okay. So uh, am I portraying it through social media sites or something? No, two, like, actually, oh, okay. two someone. All right, all right. I'll pretend you're an investor, he said. Okay. So, uh, with Support Your Club, this new product is innovative in every way. It's not only, it not only has the strengths of what current hair products do have, which is um, it's able to, you know, stay the colors you and stuff, but it's also very innovative in its concept. At the core, this product <coughs> will will sell itself. It's um it's something that has the, the demand, but the product just doesn't exist yet. And on top of that, this product is extremely simple, and it's very stylish. So it hits up the old convention as well as the new. And um, as a result, I mean, <coughs> we've got a great product on here. Sorry, am I projecting? Yeah, you should be. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, so now since this that was to a person, now we're moving to the social media aspect. And this is just a new product um, in our hair care line. And how do you use social media to advertise it? You can use the hair color too if you want in this situation. Um, I would definitely show people using the product. I, mean, I think that speaks louder than words. And you can also, um, if uh, <coughs> I think this this product is something that you can easily do that through the social media because um, if people are using the product, supporting their team, people can see themselves in those pictures. I think that's a real strength. There would be um, multiple outlets as well as we brand some of the people that we cut our hair for. Uh, we'd have them demonstrating our product. And I really think that helps build an image around this company that, <coughs> that this company needs. So instead of just having fans using it, you'd want to show actual what athletes yeah. using the product? In conjunction, I think it really complements each other. Uh, and also, that idea of People seeing themselves in that, using that product, <coughs> and I think this product would definitely sell its own. And social media has supplemented it. So moving away from social media um, to more of a conflict situation in the workplace. So you're working with the web development team and you're experiencing creative differences between you and the web development team. How would you express your opinion while making others feel heard? Um, team, dealing with teams is always a dynamic situation. I feel like it's um, something that you deal with on a per situation basis. So. <coughs> I feel like I would deal with that problem um, by fulfilling the role that the team needs. If there's someone that needs to be heard, then I'll definitely take that role. <coughs> and if uh, something needs to be done by a deadline, I build from the concrete objectives first. Down. And I'd say, we need to get this done by this date. Something unarguable and build from there. <coughs> that's where I would take that approach. So you would say that. Um, I, <coughs> I guess it's like if uh, if there's a creative conflict of interest, I feel like um, 
each team needs a unique thing. And I think it could fulfill both the leadership role as well as um, if someone needs an ear to be supportive. I think that's where I stand. Okay, so <clears throat> like you told us, you told me about your experience with a lot of different people mm -hmm. and experience um, working with different people on that aspect. Um, how you would go about promoting products and executing. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess so far, do you have any questions for me? Um, I have a question about uh, from your site, I was having trouble uh, envisioning the long-term goals of Dynamic Air. Could you fill me on that? Um, I guess we were... So far, we're just having a goal of being a source for the Portland community. We don't really right now have a vision of expanding. We would want to do that in the future, mm -hmm. but our goal is to just have a strong foundation in the Portland area, even Oregon itself. Um, and then maybe down the road, if we want to expand. Um, but we really just want to make a name for ourselves as a new hair care line for men. Thank you. There are all these products for women and everything, and we just want to be able to give a source for men as well, that they can feel like they have a place in, I guess, the cosmetic industry, if you want to say. Yeah, that really helps. Oh, and then, um, I guess just a little bit about our company, um, Dynamic Hair Care. Dynamic Ear Hair Care is a product company. Um, we have a complete line of hair care products for our loyal customers, um, and we provide an expansive line of products for all our customers' hair care needs with products that can withstand a glowing sport. Okay. And um, I guess you'll hear back from us in a few weeks. Oh, that would be perfect. Um, Well, thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it.